Hey everybody, let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm starting off with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer and it is a silicone free blurring primer. Most blurring primers do contain some form of silicone to give them that matte finish. This doesn't have that and it is beautiful under all foundations. The foundation I'm going to use today is by Smashbox. This is the Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. The shade I'm using today is 2.18 which is a light medium shade with a neutral undertone. You will see it is definitely still a little bit on the yellow side but that's fine because as you can see my body has a natural tan which my face does not and this is going to match my face to my body. This foundation is a silicone based foundation. If you'd like to learn more on how to tell the difference between a silicone based foundation and a water based one, I will link on screen for you my tutorial telling you the differences because you do need to get a primer that works well with your foundation. Looking online, I can see there are around 40 shades in this foundation. It is a natural matte finish and it is infused with hyaluronic acid and that is why it looks lovely and juicy on the skin, but it does set to a nice natural finish and it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry, even though it does go slightly more matte. Now we're moving on to concealer. This one is the Faux Filter Concealer by Huda Beauty. This is the biggest surprise to me. I really didn't think I was going to like it. A lot of the previous ones I've used were quite drying on my skin. However, this was beautifully lightweight. It really was kind of luminous, even though it's a matte finish. It dries down, but it isn't drying. You'll see when I do the close-up shots of my eyes later, the actual skin and everything looks really nice with this concealer, and it goes so well with the foundation. There are 29 shades available in this concealer, which is brilliant. It's infused with sweet almond oil and vitamin E, so it's good for your under eye area. It says it's a 14 hour wear crease proof formula and that it's for all skin types, which I would agree to having tried it a couple of times now. I really like it. I think it wears beautifully all day long until I take it off and the way it just melts into the skin, I do feel like it would be suitable to all skin types. So I'm just using my Urban Decay brow blade to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm using a brush to go in and spot conceal any little areas that need an extra bit of coverage. Then I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder which you can see is well loved and I definitely need a new one. I'm using a LH Cosmetics Triangular Sponge and I'm going to press that over the centre of my face to diminish shine. If you are particularly oily, you might want to use a setting powder first before you use a finishing powder. I prefer this, I feel like it sets me enough for the amount of oil that I have. Now I want to bronze up the skin. I have been absolutely loving my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I forget how much I like this and I've decided to take a little break from my Bare Minerals one to change it up a little bit. And I'm using my Refa number 22 brush because it's absolutely huge, which makes bronzing the skin a dream. It's super quick and easy to do. So as always when you're bronzing, hit those high points of the face where the sun would naturally tan your face. If you've never tried bronzing with a big brush, give it a go because honestly it gives the most beautiful natural finish. It really does kind of like make the work really quick and easy for you. As long as you kind of concentrate on that three shape, so going from your forehead round to your cheekbone, then from your cheekbone round to your jaw, and then keep it in that kind of shape and then you shouldn't have any problems. If you missed Thursday's upload, I showed you this blush hack, which I'm gonna link on screen for you now. You can follow along with that, and that's how I did my blush for this particular video. I absolutely love any kind of hacks, and this is one I've used for a little while, and I thought, I don't know why I've never shared it, so be sure to check that out if you missed it. You may also recognize this part of my tutorial from Sunday's upload. Sometimes when I do a tutorial, I think actually that on its own would make a really good separate tutorial and then when I'm doing the full tutorial like now I can link you back specifically to those videos and I can breeze through some of the finer points. So I'm lining my top lid using a pencil. This is a long wear pencil because it really doesn't budge and it's the most beautiful subtle way to line your top lid. As you can see here it looks super subtle and very soft. Also check out the makeup here. The Faux Filter Concealer looks beautiful on the skin with that foundation. So again, go and check out both those previous tutorials. Now I'm getting with my Refa eyelash curlers to give those a little crimp. I love these ones because they're quite wide, so they really do get every single lash for me. When I look straight ahead, you can definitely see the pinky tones underneath my natural lashes on my top lash line. So I'm going to get rid of that with a little bit of my favourite Wet n Wild Mega Liner in dark brown. It really makes the world a difference, especially when you curl your lashes because it tends to expose this area a little bit more. 
You'll notice that I've decided to forego any eyeshadow for this look. I feel like when you wear lipstick, you should keep it kind of very, very natural. Maybe just make it about the eyelashes, which we are going to do for today's tutorial. I feel like that's the best way when you're wearing lipstick to make it go with any color. The mascara I'm using is my favorite Louboutin mascara. Again, you can use any mascara that you like. You only need a very light coat if you are going to apply any falsies. You don't have to, you can just layer your mascara until you are happy with the desired effect. The falsies I'm going to use are these Hidden Agenda lashes by So Su. You know I absolutely love her contour stick. And these lashes are an equally beautiful discovery. Now these lashes do come with a glue that you can use and they will last for around three to four days with maintenance. In this packet you get three different lash lengths. You get 10 mil, 12 mil and 14 mil and you would get around two to three sets out of these. It just depends on the length of your eyes and how much of them you tend to use because some people don't take them all the way to the inner corner, therefore you'd probably get another set out of them. My plan was to remove these eyelashes after filming, so I've used duo glue rather than the glue that comes with it. And as these eyelashes are slightly heavier than the lash face ones, the actual band is a little bit thicker. They are still comfortable to wear, but they're a little bit heavier. So you do need to allow your duo glue to go a little bit tacky, otherwise they will fall down. If you want a full talk through on how to use ribbon lashes and a discount code, I will link it on screen for you now. I filmed a tutorial just recently. I do really like these ones. However, I still ultimately prefer lash base because they are so thin and so lightweight. They're the most comfortable ones I've ever come across to date and you can get them in the UK and the US and I also have a discount code. So overall, for me, they're a winner. So I'm just placing the last one on the outer edge and then I'm going to apply some mascara on my lower eyelashes. I don't often wear mascara on my lower eyelashes anymore. And in particular, because I'm going to be applying some lipsticks with this look, I'm going to apply the mascara and then use a lash comb. The one I'm using is by Tweezerman, just to remove the majority of that mascara off my lower eyelashes. So it's there, but it's a lot more subtle. So this is my daytime appropriate makeup that you can wear with any lipsticks. And I chose to film this because I was doing a job for this company here called Me Cosmetics and I shared their lipsticks over on my Instagram. That was a paid for sponsorship. Here on YouTube is not, but I still wanted to share them with you because I thought they were so beautiful. It also gives me a chance to share my discount code with you guys because if you don't follow me on Instagram then you will miss out on the discount codes. So this beautiful colour here is called Pinot Blush. And as you know, I love a nude, so that's probably my favourite. This one is Rose, and I should say all of these formulas are infused with avocado and mango oil, so they literally go on like silk. Then we have the shade Cognac, which is another favourite of mine. I was honestly surprised about how much I love these colours. I only ever take on sponsorships for brands that I get to try first, and I absolutely love these. This shade is called Cassis. So this is their red shade because there's only five shades in this particular collection which is part of their Click and Colour Lip Crayon Lipsticks. And then this shade is called Merlot which is the shade I'm using in my thumbnail. It's kind of like a raspberry Merlot shade. Definitely more raspberry in the flesh which I really really love. So as you can see this makeup pairs beautifully with all of the shades which means this kind of makeup will look beautiful with any lipstick shade you have at home. Don't forget, if you do want to take advantage of the discount code with me, you are most welcome to. Please remember that this is not sponsored. The sponsored content was over on Instagram, so I've shared this because I genuinely wanted to. Let me know what you thought of the tutorial over in the comment section. Would you try this to wear lipsticks of your own? Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram and I will see you Thursday with another video. Bye guys!